Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Surprise Thursday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today's surprise is the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star Series Goku Black. Thank you for watching this video or any of the other videos that I have made. Each view does count, and I really do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, and don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified of this fabulous new content. And with all that said, Let's get into it. And first of all, as we are wont to do here on Digital Caveman Presents, let's take a look at the packaging. Four and up, Bandai assortment numbers. Warning! Don't stick things in your pie hole. Advertisement! Don't stick things in your French pie hole either. Uh, Chrome Dragon Star series with a matte black background and glossy black Crackling. Dragon Ball Super. Nice big window showing off Goku Black. A chrome border around the window. which I think all this chrome is a nice touch on these packaging. Uh, our packages. Dragon Star Series, again in the chrome. Goku, Goku, Goku Black, again in that chrome. And then a uh, continuation of that chrome strip around the window. A little strip of the window. Dragon Ball Super. On this side, nice artwork. Dragon Ball Super. On the bottom, Dragon Ball Super. On the back, Chrome Dragon Star Series. Dragon Ball Super Series 8. And this is the, like, they kind of break these into two. Even though it's one way, one part of it gets shipped, and then a little later on, another part of it gets shipped. So, your case assortment for this one would include Future Trunks, Vegito, and Goku Black. They are part of the build a figure of Super Saiyan Brawly. And there's the three included in this part of the wave, and the other three are Vegeta, Super Saiyan Gohan, and Ultra Instinct Goku. Small print, fine print, legalese print, a barcode, toy animation, Banda, and Funimation. Made in China. All right, my friends, that does it for this packaging, which I'm really, I'm really digging this packaging. So, all that chrome, it's cool. And now let's take a look at the figure. And his accessories and first of all let's take a look at his accessories and here he has an open clawing hand left hand she has one of these for the right hand too and it's already on the figure so there's that uh, here is a fist for the right hand which he already has a fist on his left hand and as you can see, there's a ring on his finger. Can you see it? Not when the camera don't focus right, you can't. And I don't remember exactly. I've watched through Dragon Ball Super once. And the ring has something to do with evil Goku there and Potara earrings too. I just don't remember all the details. And then we have this piece, which I guess can be used on either hand from where he makes his hand have an energy sword. So, translucent with a little bit of frosty paint down here at the bottom. And lastly, the Build-A-Figure piece, which is Broly's left leg. Yes, left leg. Yeah, 
Anyway, I don't know why I'm looking at that. Uh, the insert that was in the box, nice. Always like when they give you inserts like this that you could possibly repurpose or reuse, maybe in photography, maybe it's just a background, you know, whatever. It's nice that those are sometimes included with figures. Now, for Goku Black, I mean, look at that look on his face. That's like evil saying laughing. And then you can see he doesn't have no Patara earring there, but he does have one on this side. And the paint for that, it's a little sloppy right there. And then there he is, you know, black upper bodysuit, and then he has this gi over the top of it with his belt, and then the baggy pants and Dragon Ball boots, I like to call them. You know, it's kind of detailed. I mean, it's probably mostly reused from previous Goku figures. Just repainted in a new head sculpt. Let's take a look at the articulation. He cannot look up. Mostly, I think, because of the Saiyan hair. Down. Well... He really doesn't look down either. And a little bit of waggle. The neck, at the bottom of the neck joint seems to be where, well, I say that, but the head moves independently of the neck. So, but there's articulation down here and then up in the head. And then I bump the camera again. You guys love when I do that. So, but it really doesn't give you much articulation, but he can do the full exorcist. So, that's that. Arms comes up better than 90 degrees. They do spin around 360 degrees, and you can see as I move it, this piece right here is a separate piece because he also has a butterfly joint. So that's nice. There's a cut here in the upper bicep for 360 degrees of rotation. You just have to kind of hold on to the upper shoulder joint there to get it. Double jointed elbow gives you that much range of motion. That is awesome. Marvel Legends, pay attention. Uh, then at the wrist, 360 degrees and in and out and in and out. So, and then on the other side, up and down. And then again, there you can see the ring of evil or whatever it is. I forget. So at the waist, 360 degrees. And look at that hula hoopy hoopy hoop. So right here at the waist is on a ball joint and there's all kind of action going on there. Woo! So there's that. For the legs, he gets that much of a split. And he does have a pull down joint. It's very similar to what you see on the G.I. Joe Classified series. But even with the pull down, you only get that much of the splits. His leg kind of turned when you kick it up. It also, if you go too far with it, will pop off. But then we can look at that articulation. And there's that joint on the inside there, just a ball. And that just pops on it. And maybe I can do it on here without tearing anything up. Let's see. There we go. It just pops right in there. So anyway, he can kick up about that far and back about that far if you come out with his butt a little bit. Double jointed knee. 
gives you that much range of motion. And then of course, you know, you can kind of spin that around a little bit on that ball up here, but there's no cuts in here. Uh, at the bottom, no cut at the boot either. So you've got 360 degrees of rotation at the ankle. It'll go down that far. It goes up that far. And of course, you get, well, Uh, if you fool with it a little bit, you can get some tilt out of it, but there's a, it's a hinge in here. It's not a ball. It's a ball hinge, I guess you could say. I don't know if you can really see on the camera, but there we go. Similar to what he has in the wrists. So you can fool with it and probably get some tilt out of it, but in the long run, it's probably not even worth it. And as far as this doodad, I'm not going to show the other hands, but like I said, he that just pops off. And as you can see, there's that hinged joint with the ball at the end. And this just clips in there. I have an energy sword hand, Goku. Ha ha ha. Okay, that's not what he sounds like, but. Anyway, there it is. So, nice repaint of a Goku. Nice new head sculpt. And I'm, I'm glad that they did include the Patara earring on the sculpt. It's an integral part of why this character is the way that he is. And also the ring which I had forgotten about until I looked at this figure. So, there we go. That's a look at the figure and his accessories. And now let's do some comparisons. And here he is with the Dragon Stars. Beerus, God of Destruction. And as you can see on camera, he looks a little bit bigger than Beerus. But that's okay, because he's a god of destruction. He can destroy you anytime he wanted to. And let's see how he scales up with other lines. Here is Stan Lee from Marvel Legends. Stan the Man. Hey, Marvel Legends, when are we getting a Jack Kirby figure? And from G.I. Joe Classified Series, here is the Hasbro Pulse Regal Cobra Commander variant. From Star Wars The Black Series, the Elite Squad Trooper. And I have to say, I think these square up a little better than, than Beerus did. And from a 7 inch line, just because I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Here he is with the McFarlane Toys Batman Beyond DC Multiverse figure. And that, my friends, does it for the comparisons. For final thoughts on the Bandai Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star series, Goku Black. Um, I think this is a pretty good use of a repaint. I do like uh, the fact that they had the Patara earring and the Ring of Evil on his finger. I think those were nice touches. The uh, replaceable energy blade hand. Uh, pretty cool, because that was pretty cool in the show when he used that. Um, other than that, I mean, the decos on this guy are pretty pretty uh, plain. You know, he's like three tones there. Four tones, I guess. And the paint was a little sloppy for the Patara earring, so Bandai needs to start uh, watching their QC a little harder. 
I guess. But that does it for the review. If you like Dragon Ball Z, Super, Regular, GT, although I don't know why you would... Anyway, that's, a, that's another video. Uh, then you'll probably like this figure. You'll probably want this figure. It was a pretty integral part of that particular storyline. But that does it for the review. Thanks for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for watching. Because only viewers like you make these programs possible. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. Well, that's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.